Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you, Radhika, for that wonderful introduction. Um, I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about DK and our approach to publishing for the very young. Um, as, as mentioned, Malvika, my colleague, is here as well. Uh, Malvika heads our children's publishing team and is best placed to uh, support me. Um, so what we really want to do is really just set the tone for the next session and the discussion that will follow. Um, and um, I wanted to start off by just saying that, you know, today has been such an amazing uh, set of conversations, really serious, insightful topics related to higher education, to uh, skills development, to continuous learning, um, to really, really make sure that we develop successful people for the world. But where do, do we really begin? So we really wanted to start off by going back to the very beginning, to the young reader. Where is the clicker? Is that here? Yeah. Right, so now I've learned to use the clicker. So yes, so we start with the very beginning, uh, young toddlers. And that, of course, means bright pictures and lots of color. Um, as teachers, educators, and parents, you know, we're all very concerned about how we give the right inputs to the very young. How do we make sure that we lay the foundation for all the learning that will come uh, in the future? And DK really thinks about this, tries to understand the consumer and you know, the, the entire sort of ecosystem that is required to create the products that we create. Everyone understands that in the very early years, the brain goes through exponential development and what really matters at that stage is the, um, the stimulation and the multiple sensory, um, you know, sort of environment that is created. And so a lot of our products uh, think about that and reflect that. Where does it all start? Did we have a video here? Yes, so it starts with my very first book. Uh, that's what we like to believe. Babies are, of course, born learning. Very young children learn through play, the active exploration of the environment, and most importantly, through interaction with people as well as anything and everything that can reach out and touch. DK's books are small hands friendly. They're bright and cheerful with built-in interactivity like pop-ups and pull-outs, peekaboos, touch and feel, because for holistic development, um, that sort of stimulation and interaction is most critical. And above all, it's for raising that curiosity to learn and to understand the world around us. So who are we? DK, if you're not familiar, publishes highly visual, photographic, nonfiction for adults and children. Our aim is to inspire, educate, and entertain readers of all ages. And everything DK publishes whether print or digital, embodies the unique DK design touch. We have a reputation for innovation in design for both print and digital products. Our design brings unrivaled clarity to a wide range of topics with a unique combination of words and pictures put together to spectacular effect, even if I say that myself. We produce content for consumers in 100 countries in over 60 languages. And going back to our children's list, that is something that we excel in and we are known for the world over. We believe in creating something perfect for every child. Every child is different and there is something that would appeal to each of them. 
For us, it's also about taking a child through the entire journey from the very early years as they grow into adulthood and about being a global child. So our products are global and they appeal to the global child with a local flavor. Now over to Malvika to talk to you a little bit more about the insights that we try and bring into our products. As a traditional business of books, um, the key is our consumer and knowing our consumer. This is one of my favorite slides. It's my rogues gallery. Um, these are kids from six months all the way to 11 plus. Um, to all the teachers in the room, you're familiar with them and they like you, they are our prime, prime candidates and users. At DK, we regard the building up of early years starts from the lead up and to after, where we're talking about getting the children ready for school. And one of the things that really centers how we innovate in creating new content is looking at a persona. And here I have Neil, who's three years old. He's very adventurous. He's very quick. He's full of energy. And he's full of questions. And these questions have often led us to creating things that, products that are more effective. Um, Neil just wants to know what's going on around the world. He has millions of questions. Um, he wants to know what things are. He wants to know what a giraffe is and also wants to know what a caterpillar is. He's usually, if he um, wants to know how things happen. And DK came into looking at something like weather, which is quite a complex concept, but came into um, us answering with really simple um, visuals and answering the questions from, for children across the globe. So we've got, is it warm enough for ice cream? And that, yes, summer is warm enough for ice cream, but that's the way of getting into weather. Um, and one of the things we found is Neil is full of energy. He's very messy. He's going to make a lot of noise. And the day we're really happy is when he wants you to read a book again and again and again. So all of you who are parents or uncles, teachers, you know, aunts, uh, you've got youngsters around you, um, that's a good looking version of what happens on your um, desk and walls and floors and classrooms. And we really look at how the children would interact with us. Um, and um, as a book publisher, you know, I've heard technology, 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 but here's what our survey says. So I thought I'd put my measly numbers up for you to see that children do like to read. 25% of them are bookworms, hurrah, we're gonna be alive. Another 28% are interested and positive about reading. And then there's the, you know, um, a smaller percentage of 25 who are saying they're positive about reading, but they might be infrequent. They want to play something else. And then there's 15% who just don't want to read. And that's who we need to address as well. So where we come in is really looking at something perfect, innovating our content for every person. And it's about creating interesting content that will always engage a child. So uh, over to Aparna, who will give you the ingredients. So I'm going to give you a bit of secret sauce on the ingredients we use to make interesting books. Well, what we found is children love beauty and something precious. So our books are things that they love to hold. Surprising and delightful. Subjects that you wouldn't normally think would be of interest to them. Contemporary, children now talk about a lot of uh, important topics and worlds around them. Of course, humorous and curious, that will always appeal to them. And inspiring and imaginative. We talked about mindfulness, topics that earlier on we thought was really more relevant for adults, but it's also something that is very, very relevant to young children. And of course, the digital world. I like the pictures and when you press it it goes really big and it and it and there's labels 
I thought it was really good. I used it for my homework and it was really helpful. I like DK Found Out because, because it's got fun quizzes and you can do it about everything you like, like history, science, English, maths. The quizzes, they're really fun and they have lots of like interesting questions. If your friends are there as well, you can play against your friends and see who done it quicker in the time because there's a timer as well. I would recommend DK Find Out um, because I've got children who would find it very useful um, knowing the kind of activities and homework they've asked to do at school. I can definitely see that this would be a useful tool for them. It's very easy and safe and simple to use. What I liked the most about DK Find Out was the interactivity, the fact that you could click through to a text box or a video or something else. And I loved the little hidden things. For example, I was having a look on the cats page and as well as all the pictures of different cats, the fact that you could click on a sound file to hear a cat purr, that really captured my imagination as adults. So I think any child is going to be inspired by those little sort of hidden things. It felt like a treasure hunt to kind of find the video or the part that moved. I would rate DK Find Out uh, five out of five uh, because it was really fun. Um, it was a very enjoyable way of accessing information. <laughs> yeah, so a DK Find Out was also a website and then we innovated into a series of really successful books and that's what I mean by listening to our consumer and making sure there's product for everyone. And our real building blocks are listening to readers. They really have been the pivot of our commercial success. Being at the heart of content creation, creativity really is our role. And optimizing data is critical to our decision making. And that's how we made strides in early learning. So there again, something perfect for everyone. I hope that sets the tone for the next session.